It is Monday the 21st, and uh, we are at the end of Unit 1. So with that comes a lot of things that we need to do then with Unit 1. So the first thing that we need to do with Unit 1 is we need to take a summative on Unit 1's material. And so that is going to be this week. Okay. So this afternoon on Monday the 21st, I will open up the testing um, site on its learning, um, and you will need to complete that test on its learning by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday the 23rd. Okay. It's a 17-question test on its learning. There's going to be a mixture of multiple choice and fill-in-the-blank type questions. Um, and I'm giving you, I put a time limit on it of 90 minutes. Okay? Normally, I would have a 60-minute time limit on it, or normally in class, in person, you would get 60 minutes to take this test. Um, so I gave everybody time and a half. So that covers everybody, and it's all good from there. The downfall is, because it is a summative, I am only going to give you one attempt at it. Okay? So you're only going to get one, one chance to take this one, not like the formatives that we had um, where you had three attempts. You get one shot at this one, okay, which would be normal for a, a normal summative in class, in person. Okay? So some things to do before um, you take the test on um, sometime between this afternoon and Wednesday evening. Okay. So first thing, you should go back and you should look at um, your portal to make sure that you have 100% on those five homeworks. Those are the five homeworks that we had. Four of them are already um, turned in and graded. Um, one of them you should be working on this week, and you should do that before you take the test. And that can be found on, on today's content page. Okay, or on today's plan on its learning. Okay, but go back and look at make sure you got 100% on week one worksheet. If you have some attempts left from formative one one, uh, go back and take those to try and get 100%. Um, likewise, the week two worksheet that was due last night. If you haven't turned that in, make sure that that gets turned in. The formative assessment from last week one two. If you have attempts left. Make sure you take those attempts to get as many points possible as you can. And then the work three worksheet is the review worksheet for the unit one test, and that will be due um, this week. Okay, so that one's due, that's a this week one. Preferably, you want to have that done before you take the test. So, I mean, that just makes it smarter. Okay, and you can go back and you can fix any of those that aren't at 100%. Okay. Other things that you can do uh, prior to taking the test, you can go back and you can study the material. So we had a, about four or five different topics in, in Unit 1. The first one was uh, simplifying expressions, um, and that included combining like terms, uh, plugging numbers into equation, to expressions and uh, simplifying it from there, evaluating expressions, etc. So we have things of that nature. Uh, we also had solving linear equations was the next topic that we did. And then we took that and we went to solving linear inequalities. Um, and then we had some word problems that went along with that. And there will be a word problem on the test. Um, that is for sure. And then we had absolute value equations and absolute value inequalities. Those were the topics that we should study. Um, if you, in terms of going over that and studying that, you can go back and look at any and all of the videos that are um, 
still posted on its learning that we've had that I've created so far this year. Um, those are open for you to to do. Also, um, your textbook is a good uh, reference point to either the online textbook or the uh, hardcover tech hard copy textbook that you may have. Um, in that textbook, our unit one is out of that book's chapter one. So the ones line up um, for that one. So um, look through chapter one. There's a review assignment at the end of the chapter. There's a chapter test. Maybe even there's two chapter tests at the end of the chapter that you could use for extra practice. Okay? Practice makes perfect. Okay? And then the last thing is you can uh, definitely ask questions and make sure that everything is cleared up on your end. Um, and so that, like today, I have office hours from noon to one, and then again from two to three. And uh, so that's today, that's Monday. On Tuesday of this week, I have office hours from eight to nine and one to three. Um, and uh, Wednesday from 9 to 11 and again from 1 to 3 and the uh, my office code is Lynn's office is my Google Meet code for for that okay? so that's how we can be as successful as can be you can always email me too when it's not during my office hours or you can shoot me a text or whatever just I want I'm here for you I want you to be as successful as as possible okay? so make sure that you uh, get all of that stuff done and the the five homeworks are at a hundred percent prior to um, prior to Wednesday at 11:59 p.m and then make sure that you take your test also at before Wednesday at 11:59 p.m okay? Have a great day.